Hello and welcome back to Ink Your Sim for Light. Today I want to show you something, a feature in Sim for Light, which is not really obvious but very helpful to create dynamic content from static content. You may remember one of the sequences we had in the Action Pad video was this one, which is the Sim for Light logo with a radar effect behind. And what you can do here, you can use property animation. You can animate not all, but many properties of effects, elements, images in Symphalite. In this case, we want to use property animation for the logo, for the Symphal logo we have here. And let us remove this layer to have a little bit more space. So if I take this sequence and take the Symphalite logo, I click the angle property and I click the right mouse button and select add property animation. After selecting property animation, an additional layer is created and this is the layer for the angle animation. If I now double click into the layer, a keyframe will be placed. I can do this several times. I select this keyframe and select the angle to 90 degrees. And selecting the second keyframe, I change the angle to more minus 45 degrees. And now the property of the image, the angle, is animated. You can even select different ways of interpolation. You can select a step interpolation or a linear interpolation for the animation. And now you see that the Symphalite logo gets animated. It's rotated between the keyframes in different angles. Property animation is available, as I said, for many properties, but not for all properties. But it is also available in videos. The sequence number one we had was a video. And this video gets played when the sequence is running. If I select the video, I have here the frame rate of the video in which it is recorded. It's 30 frames per second. If I select the frame rate as a property, click the right mouse button and select Add Property, I get an animation for the frame rate. If I double click into the frame rate animation, I can modify the frame rate of the videos. Select 5 frames per second. Now playing the video, the video will start in normal speed, then go to a slow-mo version and then return to the normal speed. Here I have a property animation for the frame rate. What you should take off, take care of when using frame rate animation for a video is that you have available frames when doing the slow-mo without stuttering. And there's one tool which you can download and install and Symphalite will recognize the installation of this tool and use this tool to resample videos to a higher frame rate. The tool is called Free FPS Converter and you can find it with your favorite search engine and you should then download Free FPS Converter from searchforce.net. Install it on your system and on startup Symphalite will recognize the availability of this tool and do the resampling for videos automatically. As you can see here, there's no stuttering, even running with very low frame rates in the video. So you can use property animation for many, many properties of elements in layouts, in sequences, in Symphalite. Here for videos and in the first example for graphics to animate
properties of symphylite layer elements.